in this Adobe lesson, we'll be looking at how we can make photos here more vibrant, how to make them pop, you know? Now we've got a demo photo here. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks okay, as is, admittedly, I think so. However, as part of Adobe's training tutorials, they have this as a sample photo that can be enhanced. So let's do that. So we can make the photo appear more vibrant. All right, the first thing I'd like you to do is to select the layer, which is our one layer, background layer, and then move down to where we see the semicircle. This is to create an adjustment layer. For most of our other videos, we were creating mask layers. However, today, we'll be selecting something different. Yeah, you see here the circle that has a line through it where one side is light and the other side is dark. That's to create an adjustment layer. First, I'd like you to click on it. And then in the sub menu, I'd like you to select vibrance. We're going to make the photo appear more vibrant. All right. Now you would notice a new menu appears. And first, let's mess around with the saturation. So you can slide it to the left, slide it to the right, and observe the changes that it makes to the photo. Notice when we slide to negative numbers, the photo appears darker. As we slide into the positive numbers, the photo appears brighter. Maybe even better, more, more vibrant. However, notice as we go higher, the skin tone of our subject also appears to look a bit too saturated and unnatural. All right? So let's return the saturate and let's return the saturation settings back to their defaults by simply double clicking on the word saturation. Notice it goes back to zero. And this time I'd like you to adjust the vibrant setting. And let's see what that does. Again, you can mess around with it by moving to the left, to the right. For this lesson, I'd like you to take it to around positive 76. And notice, we get the background colors to pop without making the skin tone of our subject appear so saturated. And that's it. Of course, once you're finished, you can select your main layer. Go to Layer in the top menu and do a quick export as PNG and you'll have your enhanced photo saved to whichever location you would like. That's it for this video. This one was a bit shorter. However, another key lesson on your journey to better understand and utilize the Adobe Photoshop Suite. I'll see you again in the next one.